Hey everybody, how you doing? Danny here, I'm back. And uh, I'm back doing some uh, daytime research. I'm back up at the Sierras. And uh, this, this particular area I'm at, this is the one area where uh, about a month ago I ran into the, uh, I think it was a group, a group of four guys, four, uh, four fellas, and, then, and back in here is where uh, three sightings occurred in broad daylight. This here's a, this here's a part of the mountain road where one of them had literally crossed to, to get to the other side. And uh, so, it's been extremely hot, you know, up here for uh, about a week, so a week, a little over a week, and it's just, they're not going to come out in that kind of heat, you know, they're going to come out in the middle of the night, and they're going to go back uh, under the ground again. But today, it's nice. As a matter of fact, you don't remember what I told you, uh, you know, I keep telling you guys out there about some of the, you know, some of the mysteries of the Sierras. Here we are in late June, and right now, me and my cameraman, as we were hiking back in here, we're back in here a few miles, and it started raining on us. <laughs> right now, right now, in fact, I'll have him show you. We got, we got the storm clouds that are coming right on us right now. Give him that good one over there. Yeah, so uh, the uh, that's that's how mysterious this place could get. I mean, we get uh, we get uh, like uh, rain comes out of nowhere. Uh, I, I've been up here where at higher elevation, like say in the winter, but the, you know snow's not really due yet, and then get hit with a with a small blizzard. I've even been hit with a whiteout one time. Me and Garan got stuck in a canyon. We had our, oh, we were down there about 300 feet that we descended down and we had to climb back out of that canyon and it was a whiteout. We couldn't even, we had to fill our way out. The time we got out of it, we damn near froze. So yeah, very mysterious place, the Sierras. Especially this area I'm at right now because you see, I'm in the triangle. This, I'm in the, it's in the Sierra Triangle. What I'm gonna have, you quit biting on me, damn it. <laughs> what I, <laughs> Oh, and, and, and just to show you what kind of a researcher I am, because I keep telling you that's what prevents me from, you know, doing what I need to do. Like, say, for instance, today today is my birthday. I could think of better things to do than be up here humping my ass, trust me. <laughs> but, hey, look, that that's how important my research is to me, and it's how, that's how important my viewers are to me, okay? So, uh, I'm gonna, I'll be up here... Uh, as soon as I get done, uh, what I need to do, I'll be heading back home, and then I'll celebrate what's, what's left today for my birthday. Anyway, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Valentine show you something. I got two breaks, okay? And um, I'm gonna have him point you out. Come on over here. And if you walk it over here a little bit. And then, Valentine, if you could swing it right over here like this, and then give him a shot, boom, there you go. Good man, good man. Yeah. Okay. There you guys go, okay? And also back here, there's, which I never do, I've been back here for years. There's also a ghost town back here. We were back here trying to find it. Can't find the damn thing. Um, oh. Uh, something else I wanted to tell you too. There's a new show. There's a new show that aired. And it's called My Bigfoot Sighting. 
and the and the host is Vic Cundiff. Um, reason I'm telling you this is because uh, I was a special guest on the show uh, this 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 past Monday, and I did about a uh, it's around a 75 to 80 80 minute uh, segment, and um, no interruptions. No, nothing. I mean, it's just straight talk of my research and my uh, own personal uh, interactions and uh, sightings of these cryptid entities. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, like I said, it's, it. Uh, this, see, he, he, we talked yesterday. It aired Tuesday. It aired Tuesday night. It's up right now, so just go to you know just go to my Bigfoot sighting hosted by Vic Cundiff. Look for uh, the special guest Dan Shirley. Listen to it; you won't be disappointed. Trust me, guarantee it. Can't you don't miss it, man. Don't miss it. So that's like I said, I've been a little busy, and that's one of the things I was doing. So I thought I'd let it out and. Uh, I also wanted to give a big shout out to uh, uh, Vic. Thanks, Vic, for uh, asking me to be a guest on your show, and I really enjoyed it. I always enjoy working with you. You're a good man. And uh, also, I want to thank Sheila. And uh, and I I hope all the viewers out there uh, I hope they like what I put out because it's some good stuff, guys. Anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. We're gonna be on our way. So there's something else up here I wanted to show you, so I'm gonna let you go right now. I got to get humping again, okay? So hey, don't miss the show. My Bigfoot sighting. I'm telling you right now, you don't wanna miss it. You gotta to listen to what I had to say. Okay? Okay. Guys, I'll catch you later. I'm gonna I, I gotta go. I'm a little busy. Bye.